I've discovered 32 websites that will pay you every single day. Now, most of these websites require zero experience and you can even use them for free. So stick around till the end as the last website on this list will probably pay you more than your day job without getting yelled at by your boss. Slice the Pie pays users to write reviews of music, fashion, and other products. After creating an account, you simply listen to music or view fashion items and write a review to earn money. Slice the Pie pays a week via PayPal and you can earn up to 15 cents per review. So this might not sound like a lot, but Dollar Break found that using that site for 15 minutes a day can earn you an extra $20 per month. However, compared to the other websites on this list, it's not a great earner. So it gets a one out of 10 on my list, but it can be useful, especially when you're starting out and you can combine it with some of the other things in this video. Prolific is a platform that connects researchers with participants for academic studies. So creating an account is free and you can then scroll and apply to the jobs that interest you. So this online world.com found that Prolific pays users up to $100 per month via PayPal on average. Ultimately, it's an easy and convenient side hustle, giving it a 1.5 out of 10 on our list. So Enroll is a website that pays you for user testing and surveys. Creating an account is totally free and you can then complete surveys and test websites and apps as long as you like. The great thing about Enroll though is that it's incredibly easy to use. I mean, you can complete a survey in just a few minutes, all from the comfort of your home of course, and you can earn around $100 per month from the site, which is nothing special, so Enroll gets a two out of 10 on this list. Now, Google Opinion Rewards is a mobile app that sends users surveys to complete in exchange for Google Play credits. So after completing the setup, users receive surveys on various topics such as consumer products and movie trailers. Earning potential with Google Opinion Rewards depends on the frequency of surveys and your location, but in general, we found that users can earn a few dollars per week in Google Play credits. Considering each survey takes about you know one minute to complete, this really isn't bad. In fact, our testing shows that users willing to dedicate you know five to ten hours can earn somewhere between 25 and 100 dollars per month worth of google play credits and one of the best things about google opinion rewards is that the app is free to download and use i mean you can redeem google play credits for apps games and other digital content you're already probably spending your money on um, but i'm giving it a 1.7 out of 10 because of course you know it's just google play credits and there's a lot more that you can earn in real dollars with other things on this list now vindale research Search is a platform that pays users for taking surveys and completing other tasks such as watching videos or reading emails. So after creating an account, you can browse through available tasks and complete them to earn money. Vindale users report earnings of around 80 cents for a 10 to 20 minute survey, and there's no limit on how many surveys you can apply for each day, adding up to about $200 per month. So a three out of 10 compared to the other websites I'm going to reveal. Now, Fiverr is a platform that allows freelancers to offer their services to small businesses businesses after creating a profile you can create gigs to sell your services and soon enough clients will begin contacting you and the cash will start rolling in all going well. So Fiverr pays via PayPal and you can earn literally anywhere from $5 to $10,000 per project depending on your prices of course. But my biggest problem with Fiverr is the fact that getting your first sale is pretty difficult and you will need to put in a lot of effort to make any money. As such it gets a 2.6 on our scale here. In fact, a recent report by Priceonomics found that 96.3% of sellers on Fiverr make less than $500 per month, with 70% making less than $100. However, an estimated 1% of sellers are earning $2,000 plus per month, so if you're willing to put in the effort, you can earn a lot with Fiverr. User Feel is a platform that allows businesses to test their software with real users. So here's how it works. You simply create an account, then participate in tests that will record your screen, and voice as you navigate a website or app with a PC, tablet, or even your phone. So you'll earn around $3 to $30 per completed test, and some users report you can earn up to $200 per month, so a 3.3 out of 10 on this list. Now, Spare5 is a platform that connects businesses with workers who can complete small tasks such as image tagging and data entry. So to get started, simply create an account and browse through the mountain of tasks available. But in terms of how much you can actually earn with Spare5. According to most users we saw, you can expect to earn about $200 a month with less
less work than user feel, but it's a lot more work than other options in this video, and you don't earn as much as other options in this video, so four out of 10. Now, TestBirds is another testing platform that works the same way. The sign up process is very easy, but you are limited on the number of tests that you can do per day. So I recommend combining all of these testing sites together to get better results, right? And the amount that you can earn is dependent on the task, of course, but completing a usability test will pay out between $10 and $50 per test. Whereas if the test is to find bugs, you'll earn $1 per bug successfully reported. So it seems you can earn around $200 per month and a 3.7 out of 10 on our list here. Now, user testing is a platform that allows businesses to test their websites and apps with real users. You just go to their website and create an account and complete a sample test, and then you'll be invited to participate in future tests for pay. So user testing pays weekly via PayPal, and you can earn up to $60 per test. The only catch is that according to their website, testers are limited to taking a maximum of seven tests per week, and generally the pay for each test varies between $3 and $60, with the average payment around $10 per test, and they pay $10 for every 20 minute video that you complete, so you can earn up to $300 per month. But because of all of these limitations, user testing gets a 4.2 out of 10 on our list here. Now, Appin is a platform that allows businesses to outsource small tasks to people like us. So you just create an account and browse through available tasks and then complete them to earn money. So not too complicated, but most long-term projects require around 20 hours a week, but you make your own schedule and the average project in the US seems to pay around $9 an hour. So Appin is great for people who need to work from home and set their own hours and it pays weekly via PayPal so you can earn up to $100 per week, so around $400 per month, giving it a five out of 10 on our list here. Now, Userlytics is a similar platform that allows businesses to test their software with real users. So the setup process is the same as Appin, but during tasks, your screen and voice will be recorded and Userlytics pays weekly via PayPal. You can earn up to $90 per test, which isn't bad. However, there are limits on how many tests that you can take, making it kind of unclear how much you can earn per month. So it seems to be about $350 per month uh, and Userlytics therefore gets a 4.7 in this video on my scale. Try My UI is a platform that pays users for testing websites and apps, much like several other sites on this list, but the amount you can earn with Try My UI varies based on the frequency and complexity of the assignments. Uh, in general though, users can earn up to $10 per assignment and each test task takes 20 minutes to complete, so you can average $30 an hour, which you know is pretty good. And Try My UI is both free and really easy to use, we find, as the assignments are pretty straightforward and can be completed on a flexible schedule. So it gets a five, and you can earn up to $500 per month. Snapwire is a photography platform that pays users for submitting photos to be used by businesses and individuals. And after creating an account and completing a profile, you simply submit your photos to different photo requests requesters on the platform. It's really easy to use as you can just submit your photos with a few clicks. Uh, the platform is also free to use and it's possible to earn money by submitting photos that you've already taken. So in my research, it seems that you can earn up to $500 per month. So I give it a 5.4 out of 10 because of course you do need to have photos that people want to buy. Now Gigwalk is a mobile app that pays users for completing small tasks such as taking photos or verifying information at local businesses. So after downloading the app and creating an account, you can browse available gigs in your area and apply for those that interest you. So according to Gigwalker, you can earn between three and $100 per gig and you get to work whenever you want. So Gigwalk is easy to use as the gigs are straightforward and can be completed in just a few minutes, but I've seen some users earning $500 per month and I give it a six out of 10. Microworkers is a website that connects businesses and individuals with workers who can complete small tasks such as data entry, surveys, and product reviews. And after completing an account, you browse through available tasks and complete them to earn money surprisingly. So these tasks generally pay between three and $100, kind of like a gig walk, and they don't require an interview, meetings, or set hours, and you can perform micro jobs online or even in person. So you can earn up to $500 per month, but it's a bit more competitive than the other platforms. So I give it a 5.8 out of 10. Clickworker is a platform that connects businesses with workers who can complete small tasks such as web research and data entry 
And after creating an account, you browse through available tasks and complete them to earn money. So in a Reddit thread, one person reported making $500 a month. And yeah, $500 a month is perfectly attainable, especially if you live in the UK or US. Although it does depend on the type of task that you will be doing. So I give it a 6.7 on our scale just because of the usability side of it. Now, Respondent is a platform that connects businesses with participants for market research studies. After creating an account, you browse through available studies and apply for those that interest you. So according to a Respondent, the average payout for a completed project is $100 to $700 an hour. And it's a huge range, but still makes Respondent the best paying online survey company I've come across. And from the examples I've seen, the math works out to be around $105 an hour. And I've seen some users earn up to $750 per month. So I give it a seven out of 10. Now, Redbubble is a platform that allows users to sell their artwork and designs on a variety of products such as stickers, apparel, and home decor. After creating an account, you upload your designs to the website and wait for buyers to purchase them. So it seems you can earn between $500 and $1,000 per month, but of course you need some skills for this one. Uh, so we give it a 6.8 out of 10, just because of the usability side. Now, TaskRabbit is a platform that connects individuals with people who need help with surprisingly various tasks, such as cleaning, moving, and general DIY. So after creating an account, you browse through available tasks and apply for those that interest you. Earning on TaskRabbit all depends on how much you charge and how many hours you put in. For instance, if you worked 10 hours a week and charged $20 an hour, you'd earn $800 a month. And other than the initial $25 registration fee, TaskRabbit does not charge you as a tasker or the person and doing the task. So all fees are charged to the clients scheduling the services. So we give it a seven out of 10. You can earn a lot and it's pretty easy to do so. So now the options on this list are going to get very interesting because the next ones are very easy and you can make a lot doing them. Rev is another platform similar to TranscribeMe offering transcription, captioning and translation services to small businesses. So it works in the exact same way. You just create an account and apply for jobs. A good idea is to use TranscribeMe and Rev together to to double your money. And according to Rev, transcriptionists and captioners earn $245 per month on average, with the top monthly earnings ranging from $1,495 and around $1,570. So as a translator, the average monthly earnings are reported to be around $958. So around $1,000 per month is pretty good, which is why it gets a 7.2 out of 10, because of course you do need to have the kind of skill to be able to translate. Uh, so you can make a lot doing it. It is pretty easy to do, but there are a few skills involved. One Space is a website that connects businesses with freelancers who can complete simple tasks such as writing, editing, and data entry. Short tasks don't pay much, mostly 10 cents per task, but it could be more if the task is heavy. So writing pays between 0.02 and 0.035 cents per word, which means you can earn more with this one than all of the others I've shown you so far, because I've seen users earn you know, over $1,000 per month up to $2,000 per month. So overall, I give it a 7.5 out of 10 because there are still some skills involved. Unlike with some of the next ones I'm gonna tell you, we can earn a lot more with less skills. Now, Lionbridge is a platform that allows businesses to outsource small tasks to a remote workforce. So to get started, you simply create an account, browse through available tasks and complete them to earn money. You can earn up to $13 per hour depending on your task. And the fact that it's free to sign up and flexible makes it one of the best companies or gigs. Ultimately, if you have some spare time and you know are looking for some extra cash, Lionbridge is definitely worth it. Uh, some users are making over a thousand dollars per month with simple tasks, so very basic tasks, um, upwards of three thousand dollars per month I've seen for very like data entry, things as simple as that. Uh, so it's not bad. I would give it a 7.7 .7 out of 10 on this list here. Now Chegg Study is a platform that allows students to get help with their homework and assignments from online tutors. Starting is really simple, just create an account and you can start tutoring students. Chig Study promises tutors that they can make $20 per hour. However, the site allows students to pay for as little as five minutes of help, which means you might get your $20 hourly rate in a bunch of five minute bites. 
and naturally this means you can earn a whole lot more per hour. So you can earn over $1,000 per month and we give an eight out of 10 because of the high hourly rate for very simple tasks. Clear Voice is a content creation platform that pays writers, editors, and other content creators for their work. After creating an account and completing a profile, users can apply for writing and editing jobs on the platform. The amount that you can earn with Clear Voice varies based on the frequency and complexity of the assignments, obviously, uh, but in general, users can earn up to several hundred dollars per assignment, meaning you can earn over $1,000 per month, but it's a bit more work, so it's 7.7 .7 out of 10. Amazon Mechanical Turk is a platform that allows businesses to once again outsource small tasks to remote workforce. After creating an account, you simply browse through available tasks like data entry, surveys and transcriptions and complete them to earn money. So according to a 2018 academic study, Amazon Mechanical Turk pays between one and six dollars per hour for a typical task. But the study also mentions that individual requesters pay an average of $11 per hour for higher paying tasks. But the tasks are very simple and easy and I've seen some users make $1,000 per month. So we give it an 8.2 out of 10 because you can earn a decent amount of money for very basic tasks with no skill as a complete beginner. TranscribeMe is a platform that connects businesses with transcribers who can convert audio and video into text. So I give this option 8.8 .8 on my scale as you can earn quite a lot per month compared to the other options that we've covered so far. What's more, transcription as a job is pretty easy. So this is a good option for beginners and the average earning of transcriptionists working with TranscribeMe is $250, but top performers can earn up to $2,000 per month. And payments come through PayPal weekly. As long as you have a balance of at least $20 to cash out, you're good to go. Market Force is a mystery shopping platform that pays users for completing assignments at retail stores, restaurants, and other locations. After creating an account and completing a profile, users can apply for assignments in the area. So the amount you can earn with Market Force varies based on the frequency and complexity of the assignments. In general, users can earn up to $20 per assignment. And in the US, the average market force mystery shopper earns $3,500 per month. And market force is easy to use as the assignments are straightforward and can be completed in just a few hours. So the platform is free to use and users can earn money while shopping or dining out. So we give it a 9.2 out of 10 because you can make a lot of money and it's pretty simple to do so. Now, text broker is a website that connects businesses with freelance writers who can create written content. So there are a few more steps with this one. After creating an account, you submit a writing sample to determine your skill level and then browse through available jobs to write content for clients. So with higher skill does come higher effort, of course, and the average text broker salary seems to average out at about $2,000 per month, giving it a nine on our scale. Textmaster is a platform that connects businesses with freelance writers, editors, and translators who can create and edit content in different languages. So after creating an account, you browse through available jobs and apply for those that interest you. So Textmaster pays weekly via PayPal or bank transfer, and you can earn up to $1,000 per month. We give it a 9.6 out of 10 on our list because it's very easy to use and you can make money quickly on this website based on the research that we did. Field Agent is a mobile app that pays users for completing small tasks such as price checks and store orders at local businesses. So after downloading the app, you create an account, and then of course, like all of the other ones, you can browse through available tasks in your area and apply for those that interest you. So the amount that you can earn with Field Agent does vary based on the frequency and complexity of the tasks. Field Agent is easy to use as the tasks are straightforward and can be completed in just a few minutes. The app is free to download and use, and you can earn money while running errands and you know exploring your city. So it's probably the easiest option to make money on our list and because of that we give it a 9.6 out of 10. Proofread Anywhere is a platform that offers online courses and resources for proofreading and editing surprisingly. Proofread Anywhere offers courses for different levels of experience and pay varies depending on the job but users report making $500 for a single project which means you can make up to $2,000 per month which is why I give it a 9.8 out of 10. Guys it's possible to make money with all of these websites and if you want to make the most money possible my recommendation is to sign 
sign up for all of the websites that you know you think you'd like to use then you can start generating income from multiple sources but long term obviously I mean these are just websites where you can earn a bit of extra cash on the side if you want to build a real online business then you need a real business model that will allow you to disconnect your earning potential from your time commitments to learn from me for free how I build these businesses including a template of what to do and a tutorial of what to say click the link in the description of this video and take the free training and of course if you have any questions at all leave a comment below this video and let me know what websites from this video that you're going to use and don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel to get more content like this and next check out this video that you see on screen to go deeper i'll see you in the next video